take your answer or <laughs> later huh? or tonight yeah i will reply to you uh, after i mark i'll make sure i bring my pen tablet back home tonight then i might reply you maybe tomorrow yeah just now this morning when i arrived office go this is another thing that i forgot already so you all can actually you know continue to submit so when i see that i download and that i mark after i mark then i i will actually i will actually uh post it back to the whatsapp group okay okay uh kevin is not here yet right only three of us all right so today we're going to continue what uh cash cycle so you see, every week one chapter, oh no, no, every week one week two chapters is actually very fast, no? Yeah. Hmm. So, okay, let me on the volume. Okay. Who is Kelvin? You just finished the other class, right? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you are grouped. You are, you are year two already, right? Uh, yes. From okay, from year one until now, only three of you left. Okay. All right. So let me. Ah, Kevin is here. Okay. So we can. Okay, we can start. Okay, let me start recording first. Yesterday, yesterday class, the recorded video I already share to the Google Classroom. Yeah. Okay, this is, can you see my question? So this is the question, right? The cash cycle. So for this cash cycle, uh, there are lots of theory, huh? Now, actually this chapter, um, they can ask you a lot of theory, lah. Like, you know, uh, if I am the examiner who set the question paper, right, I would like to ask you, like, um, what's the difference between cash discount and threat discount? Yeah, uh, this one is actually very important, like 1B. So 1A asks, right, what is the difference between cash and credit transaction? So do you have any idea what is the difference? Cash and credit transaction. Uh, this one is very important. If you do accounting, you must understand what is cash transaction and what is uh, credit transaction. Yeah, if you don't understand, oh, then you make, then you, then you, your, your answer will be very messy. Uh. Yeah, okay, so this is actually very important. You must know how to differentiate this one. So cash means, Cash means like what? You pay cash immediately, right? Let's say you go to the shop, you get uh, you get this thing, so you pay immediately. So that is actually uh, cash. Uh. Yeah, all right. Okay, so credit means you buy, but you pay later. So meaning the supplier actually allow you to uh, allow you to pay later. Uh, sometimes it can be uh, 30 days, you know, 60 days. So meaning uh, from the day that you buy, Okay, it, uh, the, the supply give you 30 days to settle. Yeah. So you have to settle uh, within the 30 days. Uh. You know, sometimes if you pay early, like let's say you settle in the first seven days, then the supplier might give you a uh, discount. So that is what we call cash discount. Yeah. So, okay. So I show you, all right, I just project the answer for you to see, right? So for 1A, cash transaction is basically you make payment immediately. Okay, when you buy or when you sell, isn't it? When we buy, we pay cash immediately, or when we sell, we receive the cash immediately. So this is called cash transaction. Credit transaction is actually the payment will be later, yeah, in the future date. So uh, there will what we call this, there will be a credit period. Right? So this credit period basically is agreed by both party. So let's say you sell to your customer, you agree to give your customer 30 days, 60 days or 90 days, right? Or else, uh, let's say you sell, you, uh, your, you buy from your supplier and your supplier agree to give you 30 days, 60 days or 90 days. Yeah, so it depends on the credit, uh, the, the term, the, the credit periods, right? So this is the difference between cash and credit. So when you, uh, when, when it's a cash transaction, let's say it's a cash sales, so your transaction will be debit, cash, credit, sales, right? When it's a cash purchases, it will be a debit, purchases, credit, cash. Isn't it? 
But if it's a credit transaction, if it's a credit transaction, then it will be, if you, let's say you sell on credit to your customer, so it will be debit, debit your customer, right? Meaning debit a uh, trade receivable and credit sales account. Uh, so that's the, that's kind of like, you know, the, uh, the different, yeah. Okay. All right. So oh, it is, so, yeah. The, yeah. So the credit usually you pay more for if you if it's credit or is this still the same amount? No, no, you don't pay more. It's still the same. Just that, uh, just that you allow. Yeah, let's say you sell to your customer. Just that you allow them to pay later, but the amount is still the same. Ah, oh, okay. The amount is actually still the same. So if let's say it's a credit transaction, if a credit section transaction, so normally you you debit the trade receivable. This one is you sells now, nah, then you credit your Sales. Now, what happens if purchases? If purchases will be the other way, right? purchases you will debit your purchases account and your credit trade payable. Correct? So this one is uh, credit sales, this one is credit purchases. So for cash transaction, for cash transaction, if we sell, if we sell, will be debit. We will debit actually, um, we we'll debit cash because when we sell, we receive money, right? Okay, then we credit sales. Now you find that sales is always on the credit side. Okay, what happens if we purchase? If we purchase, then we'll be debit purchases and we credit cash. Um, so you see, you realize or not? You can you can you see that? You see, sales is always on the credit, right? You see, sales is always on the credit. You see whether it's uh, cash sales or credit sales. Alright? Okay, now purchases is always on the debit, isn't it? You see? Whether this a cash, this a cash purchases on the debit, and this one is a credit purchases also on the debit. Yeah. So we are talking about the same amount, just that there's an agreement between the buyer and the seller that they actually give you some time to pay later. Yeah. Okay. Some time to pay later. All right. So this one is a credit credit transaction. This one is cash transaction. All right. Okay. And the next question is uh, trade discount and cash discount. Now, uh, this is a popular question. If I am the examiner, if I want to test you, you guys, right? Like uh, not very, you know, not very good in accounting. So this is a, a, a good question to test your understanding. Now. So what is the difference between trade discount and cash discount? Now, trade discount is given when you buy in bulk, meaning you buy a lot, a uh, large quantity. Yes. When you buy large quantity, okay, when you buy in a large quantity, then we'll give you a discount. Yeah, this one you must buy a lot, huh? okay? Now, what is cash discount? Cash discount is you make an early payment, see, earlier. Ah. Or another one we call a prompt payment. Yeah, just like you see right here, if let's say it's a credit sales, credit transaction, you are allowed 30 days, but what happened is you paid within seven days. Ah, so some some of the uh, some of the supplier maybe you know you say okay if you pay within seven days, I'll give you two percent discount. I'll give you five percent discount. Yeah, so you see with this discount, basically your purchases is cheaper. Your purchases is cheaper, meaning your cost is low. If your cost is low, meaning your profit is high, isn't it? Make sense, right? Okay, so if you are able to get to get track discount, if you are able to get cash discount, then you're going to make good use of it. Uh, so track discount means you buy in a volume, meaning you must buy large quantity. You must have the volume. Okay, then you will get the track discount. So all these track discount, cash discount is actually good, meaning your cost is low. When your cost is low, then your profit will be high. So what we want is high profit, correct? When you do a business, what you want is actually high profit. Yeah, right? Okay, now the third one is actually uh, what? Uh, different types of cash in a business. So how many different types of cash in a business? So here, the first one is actually like uh, cash. Okay, uh, this one I think I, uh, I put it like this. Else, awesome. every all the answer lumped together, right? Okay, so cash in hand is one, and petty cash is another one, right? Okay, so I put it in paragraph like this now. 
Now, cash is money that belongs to the business, is that correct? So your cash can be you your the cash you have you can you can actually put into the bank, you deposit into the bank, or cash in hand, petty cash. Now, cash in hand and petty cash is quite similar, right? But petty cash we are talking about smaller amount, like a few ringgit type. Yeah. Okay, cash at bank. So the first one, yeah, cash at bank. Uh, right. So cash at bank. Yeah, cash at bank is the money in your business current account. Yeah, so cash at bank, you keep your money in the bank account. So basically, we keep in a current account. Current account means you are you are you are able to issue check. Yeah, you know when you when you open an account when you let's say now when you go to the bank you open an account there are two types. One is savings. One is uh, one is savings. One is uh, uh, they call it uh, current account. Yeah, so either. You have savings or you have current account. Yeah, current account. You have current account where you are able to issue check. Savings account, there's no checkbook. Yeah, they don't allow you to issue check. So how do you withdraw your money? How do you withdraw your money if you actually have a savings account? Yes. How do you withdraw your money if you have a savings account? Anyone? Can you answer? Yes, very good. Yeah, you use ATA, right? Ah, yeah. So normally, normally personal account we, we use savings. Yeah, of course, some personal account they prefer current because they want to issue check, right? Uh, normally uh, those uh, businessmen uh, normally they have a, they have a current account where they issue check. Okay, so this current account can be for individual, can be for a company. Okay, can be on for other company. So the cash that you put into the bank normally is actually a current account, yeah, with the bank. So this account usually does not yield any interest. Yeah, current account. So normally this current account they don't give you interest. Like a savings account, there's interest, but now the interest is also very very low. Like it's only like you know, less than two percent. Yeah. Okay, cash in hand. Yeah. The next one is uh, cash in hand. So cash in hand is the money that the business keeps in the premises. For daily purchase, ah, uh, this one is cash in hand, meaning you know the cash that you put into inside your drawer, yeah. So you ask the cashier, okay? You actually ask the cashier to keep, yeah. All right, okay. How about petty cash? Ah, uh, petty cash and cash in hand comparison comparatively, petty cash the amount that you pay out is actually smaller than cash, yeah, cash in hand. So the money kept in the business for daily small petty purchases, uh, see, very okay. small amount. Can only one person yes. can only one person handle the cat the yes, yes, yeah. yes, can only handle by one person, cannot handle by a few person, can only handle by one person, uh, petty cash. So I believe uh in your lecture you, know, you have seen uh, petty cash book, right? How do you keep a petty cash book on it? Correct? Now petty cash book, right, is also a, a an important um well have to check your past year like, how important is this. Petty cash book sometimes in exam will ask you to, you know, to do a petty cash book. Uh, yeah, okay. Cash book is definitely important. Like this chapter, what you learn, the important thing that you must know is cash book. So in your cash book, how many, how many accounts combine? In your cash book, how many accounts actually combine? Yeah. Mm, four. Four, was that correct? Four, huh? Ah, yes. The answer is correct. So what are the four? What are the four accounts that, that we, we, we keep in our cash book? Yeah, so this cash book is called a columnar cash book, right? Correct, huh? Yeah, it's a columnar cash book. So what are the four? What are the four accounts? Anyone? Who is the four account? What is the four uh, account? Capital account. Ah, uh, capital <laughs> account? Cash book, oh, inside cash book, we got capital account. In your cash book, you have four, you know, you have uh, actually four accounts combined in one cash book. Uh, so what is that? Yeah, it's, it's here, your answer is actually in front of you. Uh, I highlight for you. Uh, now. Bank account, cash account, discount allow, see? Yeah, discount allow and discount receive, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so your question, your question to us, what is the purpose of preparing three column cash book? Yeah. So the cash book that we do is actually three column, right? You have discount, 
cash bank, discount cash bank. Okay, so you have two discount, right? Discount a lot and discount receive. Which one is on the debit side? Which one is on the credit side? Anyone? Discount a lot and discount receive. Which one on the debit? Which one on the credit? Okay, before you can answer this question, what's the difference between discount a lot and discount receive? What is discount a one, one lose you money, one gain you money. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, discount allow is you give your customer discount. So when you give your customer discount, it is your? Your cost. Your cost. Cost means cost in another words. Expenses. Say, yes, it's an expense. Yes. Ah. So discount allow is an expense. So if it's an expense, it's debit or credit? Uh, credit. Uh, debit. Yes, yes. If it's an expense, it's a debit now. Discount received is we receive from our supplier. Our supplier gives us discount. So it's our this is it's our income. Huh? Yeah. So if it's our income, if income, all the income is on the credit. Credit side. Yes. All right. Okay. So when we prepare this cash book, it's a we have three column. Okay, we call it three column cash book. So discount allowed on the debit side, discount received on the credit side. Okay, and then and then both sides we have cash bank, cash bank, right? So it's like discount allowed, cash bank, discount received, cash bank. Yeah. So, so that's what we call a three-column cash book, right? So I used to record all type of cash and check transaction, actual cash received. Uh, so you see, cash book is super easy. If you receive money, you put on the debit side, right? If you pay, you put on the credit side, is it? So meaning Debit side is money coming in. Credit side is money going out. Is it not? Uh, so actual cash received or paid. Deposit into the bank account and issues of check from the bank account. So you read your question carefully. If you say, if the question say issue check, so you put under the bank column, right? If you say pay cash, then you put under the cash column. Yeah, all right? So basically, we're putting together side by side the bank cash discount allow and discount received account. So on the debit side of the cash book, uh, bank cash item uh, received and discount. Uh, uh, see here, the answer is given to you. Debit side is, debit side, you have cash bank and discount a lot. Now, how about on the credit side? Yeah, so on the credit side, see? On the credit side, you will have bank cash and discount received, okay? So see, it's a 4T account. So we combine four lecture. T account, yeah. We combine four lecture. Okay, we put side by side. So we call it a cash book. And this cash book also like a general lecture. Okay, it's the general lecture. Yeah. Okay, then the part B asks, why is a cash book both a book of prime entry and lecture account? Yeah, so basically cash book is actually we can we say it's a lecture in it's also a, a prime of book entry. So do you know how many prime of book entry you have? How many how many prime of book entry you have? This is from your chapter one. Ada berapa? Uh, seven. Yes, you have seven. Yeah, you have seven all together. Ah, you have seven all together. Yeah, correct. You have seven. So we have what sales? We have uh, we have sales journal, purchases journal, correct? We have uh, return inwards, return outwards, four already. Isn't it? Okay, cash book, correct? Petty cash. And then we have one. Uh, we have one, what? Uh, the number seven is what? Yeah, to me, uh, all these, all these, uh, this number seven is what? Capital. The number seven is. <laughs> you see, a uh, long time I never, I never teach uh, the very, very basic one. Eh? So, I sort of, sort of already, uh, like seven books of print entry, right? So then, then you have the three lectures. Okay, so what is your seven books of print entry? I remember I, I read from here. Yeah. I read, but then forgotten. Okay, so you have, um, you want if I think, well, this is actually from your journals. Oh, there's no answer, but I, we know that there's seven, right? But we are the seven types of organization. Uh, partnership. Let's 
seven books sources. Yeah, I keep saying seven books, but I want to find uh, ah here, right? Seven books of primary tree. Yeah, this one, right? Okay, yeah. So cash book is one. Um that petty cash book is one. Okay, so your lecture two, basically your lecture two, you have you learn cash book and petty cash. So there are two books of prime entry already, no? and then we have specialized journal. So like just now I already said sales, purchases, return inward, return outwards, uh, cash book, petty cash, ah, and general journal. Yeah, okay, this one is the one that I've got. Yeah, general journal. General journal, general journal is actually um, like what you did for your extra exercise yesterday, remember? Yeah, there's one uh, extra exercise number two, where all the, all the, diff, uh, on different day, you put debit credit, debit credit. That is the general journal, right? That's the general journal. Okay, then we go back to here. So the cash book is basically a few T account put together side by side yes for example three column cash book consists of four accounts okay so these are the four accounts that that you know right okay these are the four accounts that you know yeah okay so i just already said book of prime entry is part of your book of prime entry yeah so you're originally recorded the yeah, first time that you record for other transaction like sales purchases yeah so that one is in your sales journal purchases journal now Sales journal and purchases journal only only record credit sales. Yeah, only record credit sales. So your cash sales, where do you put your cash sales? Your cash sales you put into, into your cash book. So this is only for credit sales, for credit purchases. So if you have cash sales, uh, cash sales, cash purchases, then you record in your cash book. Yeah, in your cash book. And then you have return, return inwards, return outwards. Meaning when we when we sell to our customer, our customer might return back to us. So that one is called uh, return inwards. When we purchase, we might return to our supplier. It's called return outwards, right? Okay. And then we'll have a uh, journal. Yeah. So all together, seven books of prime entry. Yeah. So we'll be posted, and then later on, from these seven books of prime entry, we post to T. So T account is actually the lecture. Okay. T account is actually the lecture. Yeah. So not so for the cash and closing. Okay, however, total of the discount allowed, discount receipt are still posted to a respective discount allowed, discount receipt. Yeah, discount allowed and discount receipt. Basically, you need to you need to post to you need to post to account called discount allowed account and discount receipt account. It's actually part of the lectures. Yeah, it's actually part of the lecture. Okay, that is two B. How about two C? Okay, this is the answer for two C. Two C asks what. What is an overdraft? Ah, do you know it's overdraft? Anyone? How do you explain overdraft? Ah, okay, bank overdraft is also very important. This is something that you must know also. So what is overdraft? Ah? Overdraft means what? Means you are able. Oh, how to explain Spend overdraft? Money. You are able to withdraw. Okay, we are able to to use check. Okay, to issue a check with an amount higher than what you have in your current account. Okay, for example, in your current account, you only have 3,000 ringgit. But then now uh, you need to issue a check, right? At uh, You need to issue a check to pay for your supplier because already due now, uh, supplier give you 30 days. So tomorrow is already day number 30. So by today or tomorrow, you must pay already, right? But then now uh, in your current account, you only have 3,000 ringgit, you know? But then I... Uh, you need to pay your supplier four thousand. Ah, so with this bank or draft, meaning you are able to issue the check at four thousand. Yeah, you can issue the check at four thousand, and it will not the, the 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 check will actually go through. It will not bounce because you have overdraft. So this bank or draft is actually a facility. It's actually a facility arranged by the business and the bank. So meaning the bank actually allowed. Okay, you to withdraw more than what you have in your current account. Ah, right? Yeah, okay. So you see, like my example, you only have 3,000, but you issue check issue at 4,000. So meaning you actually owe the bank 1,000, right? So this 1,000 that you owe to the bank, you have to pay interest. Ah, there's no free lunch, oh. the bank won't give you free, oh. you need to pay interest. Now, bank overdraft interest is very expensive. Yeah, it can be like, you know, 18% per annum. Expensive, oh? Yeah, it's very expensive. 
So, okay, this time order is actually, actually a, a, a facility. It's actually uh, convenient for, it's actually very convenient, uh, convenient to the businessman. Uh, yeah, so it's like, you know, so later on, later on, then only you, like, later on when your customer pay you, okay, then you bank into your current account, okay, then you have the money. Yeah, all right. And bank or draft interest is basically expensive, but then it's for the convenience of the businessman. So this is actually an arrangement with the bank. So that's why here it says it's a special loan, yeah, had been approved by the bank for the business to issue checks more than the amount deposited into the current account. So meaning the current account can go negative without having its checks issued being dishonored. Right? Okay, so bank or draft also very important. This one also you must understand. So pay order facility will specify the maximum limit available for the business to use. Yeah. So normally the bank will actually tell you how much is your maximum limit. Let's say your maximum limit is ten thousand. So meaning maximum you can only withdraw up to ten thousand. Yeah. Only Uh, okay. Oh, miss lagging. Sorry. Sorry. What are you saying? Oh, lagging. Well, we can, we can okay then question three we go into a uh, better cash oh google let me here oh one is presentation right Can can I continue? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? I wonder if my if I turn turn off. Can I? Okay. So so yes. Okay. Hang on. Huh? I can. Oh, that's it. Uh, was still cut, cut mid there. Oh, okay, right. So I better, yeah, better use my earphone now. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, right. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I continue, yeah. Uh, question three. Question three asks, uh, what, is, what is an impress system? How does it work? Okay, now for petty cash, you must understand what is impress system. Impress system basically is actually how much, if you use up, if you use up, uh, if you use, okay, let's say, let's say uh, we set a petty cash of 500 per month. So if, uh, if I use up 430, then I only reimburse 430. You know, make sure every month it starts with 500. Make sure every month start with 500 yeah All right so this is what we call an impress system so you see here manage petty cash of a business a float is firstly determined by the management for daily petty cash payment maximum amount is based on the need so normally it is usually small yeah the petty cash the amount normally is small so it should be less than 1000 ringgit per month yeah so the petty cashier will receive this amount at the beginning of the month and then use it to pay for petty items throughout the month. So at the end of the period, the cashier will reimburse the petty cashier. Yeah, so if you use up, like I say, 
if maximum is 500, right? If let's say we keep 500 petty cash in the office. So if let's say this month, at the end of the month, I use up, I, I only use 430. So, so the petty, uh, the petty cashier will actually get 430 to start to continue for the coming month. Yeah, for next month. Okay, yeah, for next month. So spend during the period so that the petty cashier will start with the same amount. So every month the petty cashier will, will actually start with the same amount. That is 500, yeah, from my example. That is actually 500, all right? Okay, so these are the theory. Okay, question four. Oh, question four is very long, huh? Right, okay, question four is actually very, very long. So uh, now question four, okay, for accounting, I would prefer... Before you start, right, read the requirement first. Yeah, start from the requirement. Always read the requirement first. So here it says, uh, enter the above transaction in the three-column cash book. Now, three-column cash book, eh? three-column cash book, and close the cash book at the end of May. So this one is at the end of May. Ignore those transactions that do not involve in cash book. Yes. Ah, yeah. Now, what is the what are the transactions that not involve cash book? Like for example, credit sales. Like for example, this one. Uh, this one is credit sales, right? Credit sales, credit sales to tops, for example. Correct? Yeah. So you only involve those those that you can record in your cash book. So meaning involve cash, involve bank, yeah. Right? Those that do not have any cash in, cash out. Okay, bank in, bank out, then don't use, don't record in your cash book. Okay, yeah, all right. So now, for example, credit sales. Where do you record credit sales? Uh, in this case, in this case, when you have credit sales, where should you record? Seven books of prime entry, right? But this one you haven't learned. Now. Okay, I tell you first. For credit sales, where do you record? Sales journal. Remember just now? One of the book of prior entry, you record in sales journal. Okay, yeah, you record in sales journal. Now you see, uh, you see like this one, you see now, this is cash in hand, this is cash at bank, correct? Yeah, All right. So you go according to your question, yeah, All right? Okay, then here says, uh, post those items, okay? So post those items involving the cash book to the appropriate ledgers. Then after that, then you put into a lecture. So this one, right, your answer is super long. Uh, I think I, I believe you 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 have you have seen the uh, you have seen the uh, the the sample right example in your lecture notes. This one. Yeah. Do you have the example? Uh, this is what we call journal. Okay, this is what we call journal. Do you have an example? Oh, don't have all. Oh. Ah, this is the ah, eh? this one. Ah. Eh? All this one by one. Yeah. So your your question four is super long. So for this one, you have all together. You only have six questions, right? Okay, two extra question. Okay, now so anybody done this question? If you haven't done, then I think uh you can actually do together. So you can actually do together. So you can actually open up your uh, open up your 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 Excel. Yeah, so uh, if you are having an accounting class like this, right, it's actually the best thing is you can have two gadgets. Like your PC is for you to, you know, to type the answer. And maybe you use your phone, you know, to join the Google Meet. Uh, so that, you know, you, you, you are able to listen to me or you are able to see what I share. Use your phone maybe a bit, yeah, I think use phone maybe a bit small. So if you have a better gadget like iPad or whatever, then it's actually easier. Okay, so just like my children at home, they are having exam now. So that's what they do. They need two gadgets. Yeah. Uh, one is for the Google Meet so that the teacher can see, the teacher can see the student and the screen. And then uh, and then the, 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 the computer is for, you know, for the, for the, for the, for the student to actually type the answer. All right, okay, so um, I think this one we do together, okay? Okay, then in this case, then uh, let's, let me open up my, uh, okay, my, my, my Excel. 
So I will be using a lot of Excel, yeah? Okay, I am using a lot of Excel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, okay. So I'm going to show you the whole thing, what the answer actually wants, yeah? All right, so A and B, okay, together, yeah? Okay. So we will be, we are going to need a lot of uh, lectures, account, but first we start with uh, cash book. So how do you construct a cash book? Our cash book is actually a three column. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six A, B, C, D, F. Okay, six, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six. Okay, so like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then I, I have six, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, up to here. Um, right like this, and then I need okay. This is my cash book, huh? Not six only. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. You know why I put six? Huh? Later, huh? after you see me do, then okay. So, this is what we call cash book. Okay, three column cash book. So, why I put six column because here I want to put one is date, another one is particular. Okay, so this format you must be familiar and what is uh, F4, okay, right, okay, and then I start with uh, discount a lot, okay, short form for discount a lot, and then I put cash, right, and then I put bank, so six, okay, can I understand why I need six, all right, so this, that's why I need six, lah. Okay, so this one, yeah. So then I, uh, I can actually uh, make so I can copy. So debit side and credit side must be the same now. That correct? Debit side and credit side must be the same, huh? So it look like this. All right. Okay. Then I so if I want to make it look nice, so I put uh, okay this one like right, this. I'll put in the middle so it look it make it nicely. And then I need to put um, RM, okay, RM, yeah, so RM in the middle, then, um, then put RM here, Mr. DA on the right should be a DR. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is discount receive. Yes, yes. That's not like copy and paste. Huh? Discount receive, discount a lot, right? Okay, so like this. Okay, so now this is what I, this is how your three column cash book looks like. Huh? That's not like, correct? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now then we can start reading. So we start from number one. Huh? So we do it together, yeah? So just in case you make a mistake. <laughs> Now, so May 1st, okay, so our date, huh? so this is month of May, so we put the month of May here, right, so you don't have to repeat the May, huh? so you just put one time, okay, then you put the date, huh? like first, second, third, like that, huh? right, so May 1st, we start a business with cash in hand, 800, and cash at bank, 1,000, okay, so now, start a business with cash in hand, 800, and cash at bank, 1,000, what is your, what is your double entry? Double entry means, what to debit, what to credit? Can you tell me? Yeah, uh, I'm going to ask you for every single one so that you are so that you are familiar. Okay, so for this May first, what is your double entry? What to debit? What to credit? What to debit? What to credit? May first. Uh, debit cash eight hundred. Deb debit cash eight hundred. Okay, uh, I'm going to put here. Okay, um, debit. Debit cash. Oh, I keep talking. Debit cash and 100. And what else? And debit. Debit. Uh, bank 1000. Okay, debit bank 1000. Then, now, if we have debit, we must have credit, right? Always dual effect, right? Must balance up. Huh? So what do we credit? Uh, 
uh, capital. Yes, very good. So capital. So please answer me, huh? So this is actually uh, to help you to understand better. So it's like this, huh? Okay, uh, I'm going to put a thousand separator. Okay, and don't, I don't want too many zero. Uh, just no zero, lah. Huh? So I put here. Okay, so you can see my uh, my journal entry here, right? Okay, so this one. Okay, so this is May 1st now. So here, you already said, right? So you put your number here. Lah. Okay, here is capital. Lah. So you put your particular, you put capital. So meaning you are telling people that, you are telling people that, I received cash 800. Oops. I received cash 800, right? Yeah, you are basically telling people that we received 800 cash for capital and we also received 1,000 in bank. So meaning... When the uh, the capital right, actually bank into the bank one thousand and then the cash will actually keep in your office, yeah. So it's one thousand here. So you are telling people that I received cash eight hundred and I bank into the bank account one thousand and this is actually the capital. Okay, makes sense. So this is how you read you read your cash book, yeah. Okay, so this is May first. Okay, done. How about number two? Purchase goods by check. So what is your journal entry? Come, everyone. What's your journal entry? Debbie? Purchase goods by check. Debit purchase. Okay, debit purchases. Okay, I use short form. Debit purchases, which is 400. And, okay, if there's debit, there must be a credit, right? Remember, always balance must be balanced. So, debit purchases, then what do you? You credit what? Credit what? Read your question. You say purchase goods by check now. Purchase goods. Uh, this goods means this good means what we purchase. We our intention is for sale. You get what I mean? Purchase here means we buy and we want to sell. Okay. For example, you buy and sell tire. So your purchases is tire, and we are going to sell tire. Yeah. So purchases here means right. The goods that you buy is actually meant for you to resell. That is your main business activity. Okay, so what do you credit? Uh, inventory. Uh, what do you credit? Why credit inventory? <laughs> <laughs> Debit purchases credit? Then the question say what? By check. Oh, by check means credit? Bank. Yes, credit bank. Yeah, okay. So credit bank, 400. Okay, now how do you record in your cash book? So this is May 2nd, huh? So this one is purchases, right? And we use what? Bank. So 400. Understand? Is it okay? Very easy, right? Yeah, it's actually very easy. Not difficult. All right? Okay. Huh. Next one. Number two again. Pet rates to Devan Bandaraya Kuala Lumpur by check. You see the keyword? By check. Yeah? By check. Uh, I can't project the question and the answer together. So, yeah, so uh, unless I put half screen, uh, half half. So, do you need the question or you have a question? In fact, I printed out my question. So, that's why I am able to read from my question. Yeah. Can you use short form to answer me? Uh, okay. Sorry? Or just as you write POR uh, on the camera. Yeah, yeah, I use short form. Uh, lecturer can use short form, uh, student cannot use. <laughs> because I want to be fast. Uh. Yeah, all right. Okay. You also now. need to, you also need to, everything capital letter. Uh, no, la. I, I, I'm lazy to change between small cap and big cap. Okay. In exam, it's up to you. Yeah. So you can, you can, the normal one is you use, uh, you use uh, what, uh, small cap, all right? But for me, normally I use big cap because I'm lazy to, to change from small cap to big cap. Right, so, so this one you say, uh, pet rats to their one, okay, by check. Now, so this one is also by check. It's actually the same as this purchase. Uh. So just that, so now we pair rats, right? So we debit rats. Uh. Rats is actually our expenses. This is actually an expense. Okay, so I put like this. Uh. It's actually an expense. Yeah, so this is our expenses, which is 40. And the question say by check, right? So by check meaning it's also bank. Yeah, it's also bank. So it's 40 like this. Right? Okay. So also second, 
So here you're telling people that I'm paying reps and I pay using check. So the number is here. All right? Okay, can now the uh, next one. Do you need yeah. to write the can two times? Uh? No, not one time. What what two the times? Date. The number two, the, the date. Oh up to you. Uh. You want to write one time also can. Uh? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, the next one is number on the fourth, uh, fourth May. Bought goods on credit. Now, what's good goods on credit? Are you able to put into your cash book? What's goods on credit? Are you able to put into your cash book? This one. Uh, now we are here. This one. Bought goods on credit. Are you able to put into the cash book? Got payment or not? Got receive money or not? Got payment or receive no. money? No, no, right? Okay. Yes, no. So this one, so meaning this one, we, we don't put it in the cash book. Lah. So where we put? So this one is in, actually in purchases journal. Ah, this one you learn, uh, I think, tomorrow? No, no, this Thursday, I think. Yeah. So this is in your purchases journal. Okay, because the keyword is on credit. On credit. Okay, on credit. Yeah. All right, the keyword is actually on credit. Okay, so let's do that, yeah. All right, okay. So this one, skip, we skip. Okay, so good to thoughts on credit. Nah, see, on credit again. Nah, so this one, so good on credit, meaning this is in under sales journal. This one is actually under sales journal. Okay, under sales journal. Okay, so number four, number eight, we skip. Eh? Not going to happen, not going to record in your cash book because there's no cash or bank involved, nothing to record. Okay, how about on the nine, cash sales? Is cash sales? Cash sales? Yes, right. Okay, so what is your double entry? Debit? What do you debit? Cash sales. Um, cash. Okay, debit cash. Oops. Yeah, debit cash and... Debit cash AP and credit. credit uh, sales. Yes, good. Credit sales AP. Yeah. All right, okay. Then here, now cash sales all with debit cash all. Here you put debit cash all. Okay, so then we come to the debit side. Lah. So this is on the nine, right? So you're telling people that we have a cash sales. Sales and we receive a feeling bit cash. So put under the cash column, yeah? Okay, and next number 10, paid transport by cash. Okay, what is your number entry? What do you debit? What do you credit? What debit, do you debit? Uh, transport. Debit? Yes, debit transport. So, meaning later on you have an account called transport account, right? And then you credit cash. Right? Yeah, cash. Just cash. Okay, so it's 12 ringgit and top it, yeah right okay so meaning here we actually paid eh? so this is on the 10 right so here we put transport we are paying transport okay um, right using cash that right using cash right eh? transport okay and cash okay number 13 credit sales this one credit sales is to sales journal. Okay. Number 14, paid for stationery in cash. So what is your double entry? Debit cash. Sorry. Debit stationery. Stationery, yes. Debit stationery. So our stationery is how much is that? 16. Okay, 16. And we credit. We say by cash. Cash. Oh, cash okay yeah cash 16 okay then okay this is a uh, payment uh, so payment on the credit side so on 14 yeah on 14 we are buying stationery okay we are buying stationery and then um uh, by cash so under cash column we put 16 yeah all right okay then we go on to the next one number 15 on the 15 Introduce further capital 1,000 by check. Yeah, further capital. So what is your double entry? Further capital means? What's your double entry? 
debit, debit bank. Yes, because by check, so we should debit bank and credit. Credit what? Credit capital. Yes, credit capital good. Okay, so one thousand, right? Okay, so meaning we increase our capital and we actually debit to our bank. Okay, so here on the fifteen. We increase our capital, huh? we increase our capital by 1,000 to the bank, yeah, 1,000 to the bank. Okay, next, number 16, thoughts paid for the amount owing by check less 5% discount, calculate the amount. Now, who is this thought? Huh? See here, we have how many transactions with thought huh, actually? Uh, oh, okay, I see you again. One here and one here, right? Correct? So goods on credit, credit sales. So meaning thought is our customer. So meaning we, so now thought paid the amount. So meaning thought pay to us. So meaning we receive, right? We receive. So in total, how much? In total, how much? Yeah, in total, Five, how much? 600. 600, okay. Then? 600 right and we allow we give them five percent discount so how much then ah, okay so what is your double entry what do we debit what do we debit we debit what uh, bank okay we debit uh yep we debit bank how much are huh? we debit 600 570 Five hundred and seventy. Yes, correct. Yeah. Five hundred and seventy. How do you calculate five hundred and seventy? Six hundred times uh, ninety-five percent, right? Because we give five percent discount, right? Correct. Six hundred times point nine five. Uh, correct. Uh. Okay. Now debit bank. What else do we debit? Yeah. What else do we debit? Debit the discount uh, allow. Okay, good. Debit discount allowed. So discount allowed will be 30. Huh? So discount allowed, if you want to calculate, it will be 600 times 5%, right? Okay. And we credit. What do we credit? The bank. Uh, huh? Why well, you credit bank? We receive from our customer. Previously, when we sell to our customer, when we sell to our customer, this this top T O D D S this top is our thread receivable or payable thread receivable or payable yeah, receivable yes so we credit thread receivable isn't it right uh -huh. so we credit thread receivable altogether six hundred correct right? altogether. Initially, when we sell to him, it's 600, all right? But when he make payment, we give him discount. Okay, now, so, uh, yeah, all right? Can see this, huh? Okay, then now we come back to here. So, we receive, uh, we receive from Todd. Uh. Okay, we receive from Todd. So, here you can put track receivable and his name, yeah? Okay, so we receive uh, this one paid by check. So, 570 and there's a discount of 30. Yeah, that's how you actually record, yeah? All right, okay. Then we go to the next one on the 20th. On the 20th, withdrew cash for on use. Uh, what is this? Uh? Withdrew cash for on use. What is your double entry? What do you debit and what do you credit? Anyone? Debit? Debit drawings. Yes, debit drawings. Debit drawings, uh, 120. And credit? What do we credit? Uh, credit cash. Yes, credit cash. Yeah, because we withdraw cash, right? Okay. Now, so here, okay, here we put on the 20th. So it's a drawings. Okay, it's a drawings, and we put here 120. Yeah, so see, drawings of money going out, right? Okay. Now, the next one on the 24th. On the 24th, purchase goods with office cash 28. 
purchase goods with office cash. Mm. Office cash. So are you going to put here? Office cash? Oh, isn't that petty cash book? Huh? No, la, office cash is actually uh, cash in hand. Nah. Yeah, pen. You can put it here. It's actually cash in hand. Nah. Okay, so it's an office uh, cash. So, meaning, what is your double entry? Yeah. Before we do the debit purchase. Purchases. Okay. Purchases. Yes, debit purchases would and credit. Uh, cash. 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 Yeah. Because we use cash, right? Okay, so credit cash of 28. Okay, so then we come here, 24th. So we put here purchases and we use cash, yeah, 28, right? 28. Okay, next. What is next? Um, number 25. Pat, Zen and company a check in full settlement of the amount owing less 5% discount. Calculate the amount. Okay, pay. So meaning we pay, we pay. We pay. So many before this, we did we did we buy anything from Jen? Yes. See here, ah, uh, next one, the one in yellow, right? Bought goods on credit from Jen. How much? Two hundred. Two hundred. Oh, okay. Now we want to settle. Now we want to settle, make payment. See, a uh, check full settlement. Meaning we come. Okay, we receive this. How do we debit? We make payment, uh, we pay to our supplier. So, what is your journal entry? Debit, debit? Uh, trade, trade payable. Yes, we debit trade payable, which is uh, Gen and Company, right? Okay, Gen and Company. Yeah, we debit, uh, uh, in total is 200, correct? Okay, then what do we credit? We credit? Bank. Bank. Okay, we credit bank, how much? We credit bank, how much? Remember, we receive a uh, uh, discount, right? How much is our discount? 5%. So meaning, we only pay 95%, isn't it? So how much is the 9%? Uh, the, the 9%. Uh, 95 percent yeah we only pay 95 percent right so how much is the 95 percent 190 then we credit discount discount receive oh, 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 receive sorry receive uh discount a lot is always on the debit huh yeah okay so then this will be ten uh. so you will Calculate the working will be 200, right? Like 5%, right? Okay, now come, let's record in our cash book. So this is on the 25th. Okay, it's our trade payable. Yeah, yeah, okay. Jen and company. Yeah, okay. And we uh, we receive a discount of 10 and we paid by check. Right, check. Okay, 190. Oh, it is. Okay, no? All right, okay, next, number, number, number 20, uh, uh, 26, so goods on credit, oh, so goods on credit, uh, this one is not now, okay, pet transport by cash, ah, what is your double entry, pet transport by cash, debit, what do you debit, transport, Okay, transport. Yep, you pay transport. Uh, how much is that? Ten. Uh, ten. Okay, then we credit. Cash. Credit, uh, cash. Yes. Credit cash. Ten. All right. Okay. So since we are making payment, so it's on the credit side. So on the twenty eight, we pay transport. And here, right. Yeah. So this is the wonderful thing about Excel. So in Excel, you can do like this. But after you copy, you remember, uh, change, whatever, go and amend. Uh, so you don't just copy and paste, shop, shop, and then you forgot. Okay, 30 on the 30th. So what is on the 30th? Transfer cash from office to bank 400. Ah, uh, This is a bit, you know, some students got a bit confused on this. 
So what do you think? What is your double entry? Tell me. Transfer cash from office to bank. Meaning? Debit, from bank, credit, cash. Uh, cash from office to bank. No, I don't think so. Transfer cash from office to bank. Meaning? Meaning you keep too much cash in the office. You want to bank into the bank. Not safe to keep too much cash in the office. So now I want to bank into the bank. Correct or not? Transfer cash from office to bank. Can I understand? So what's your number entry? Debit bank. Yes, debit bank. Debit bank? 400, right? Okay. Credit? Okay, right. Yes, very good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so think about it. Uh, think about it. Okay, so so here on the 30th, so you credit cash, right? Then here you put bank. Isn't it correct? You credit cash, right? Here you put bank. So meaning people know that, oh, this 400, you bank into the bank. Uh, then come to here on the 30th, on the 30th, what happened is we receive yeah, the bank receive 400, right? From where? From cash. Okay. Are you good? Okay, now you see this one is actually, you know, the transaction is between, you see, we have one on the credit and we have one on the debit, right? Okay, let's let me put the color so that you can see better. Yeah, so you see this this type of transaction is. What you do is you must put a tick at the folio here. Uh, put a tick. Um, I'll insert. Okay, symbol. Uh, where is my? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, I want to insert this one. Yeah. So remember, uh, put a tick. Uh. This one got marks one. Uh. Okay, transaction like this, put a tick. Okay, so meaning we credit cash with debit bank. Okay, read your question carefully, yeah? Right, next. Um, on the, okay, 30th again, credit purchases or oh, credit purchases is not, huh? refund cash to top for returning empty containers for recycling, five ringgit, yeah. Refund cash to top, um, meaning you cannot, we... You cannot do the, the check. Can I write another thing there? Again, can I just write something there? Can I write, write check? What? Uh, write what? Something instead of check. <laughs> Instead of the check symbol, the check symbol, instead of check symbol, can I just write some words to represent uh, check? You mean this one? Ah, oh, yeah. You mean this yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, normally we put a tick now. Or you use, or you use this one also, can. Yeah. You use this one. You use this one also, can. Why you won't go in? I like copy paste an image of tick. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. Sometimes if you cannot find the tick, right, so you got very frustrated. Ah, right? oh, yeah, yeah. I like this. Uh, I cannot find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, okay. Um, or else you just put any. Normally you put a tick, lah. Normally because uh, yeah. Normally you put a tick. Hey, I wonder why I cannot. I why I cannot type anything. Is that I cannot type anything? Oh, cannot type. Cannot type. I know, I say first. Yeah, I cannot type anything. I want to show you this symbol, but you see I cannot type anything. Can I lock anything or not? Close um, and open maybe. Huh? Close and open back to Excel, maybe. Close and open back to Excel. So meaning I need to close it. Okay, then. Come back again. Okay, so. I can type number, but oh, uh, oh, you use this one also can, right? This is one also can, right? Uh, if you don't want oh. to find the tick, then you use this one. Uh. Okay, you have the scratch <laughs> thing, right? Okay, uh? yeah, okay, then we continue. Yeah, um, credit purchases, no, okay, 31. Now tell me, what is this? Refund cash to thoughts for returning empty containers for recycling RN5. So meaning we return, right? We return, right? 
Do you remember just now thought is our our customer, right? Okay. Ah, so now we want to return five ringgit. Okay, so what's your double entry? Papa, what is your double entry? Uh, what do you debit, debit. Or debit? Debit trade receivable. We debit uh we debit trade receivable. Okay. We debit. Uh we debit trade receivable. Okay, can yeah. So okay. Five hundred and what do we credit? Uh, cash. Yeah, cash. Five. Okay, then we record here. So this is on the thirty-first, right? So here, uh, we put uh, we actually pay to plot, right? So credit receivable, okay, yeah, right. So cash five hundred. Okay, um next one. This one. Ah, book office furniture packed by check. Check. Oh, okay. So what is your double entry? Come tell me. Uh purchase. Debit. Purchase. Yeah. Uh okay. Now can you put purchases? Oh. Uh, can you put purchases? Okay, let me remind you again. If you oh, for good one, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. if you put purchases, yes, means yes, yes. you are you buy and you want to resell. Okay, okay. office furniture. Yes. Do you want to resell? No, no, no. <laughs> You're not going to resell furniture, right? Is it kind of stationary? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lagging a bit. I will miss. Oh. If you are in the tire business, okay, then it will be. Then your purchase. Oh, lagging a bit. I cannot hear the answers. assets. So what do we debit? What do we uh, debit? Office furniture. Yes, we debit office furniture. So I put all F. Huh? Okay, office furniture and we credit. What do we credit? Uh, we credit. Sorry? Uh, bank. Yes, we credit bank. Okay, so office furniture is 200. Right, so okay, uh, miss, then, if, yeah. if you write furniture only. Uh also can. No. Okay. So 31st, so here you are telling people that we are buying office furniture and we are paying check 200. So under the bank column, yeah, under the bank column. Okay, uh next. Pat send you a check in settlement of outstanding invoice 700 and deducting 35 cash discount. Ah. This one, are we going to record in our cash book? Pat Samuel a check in settlement of outstanding invoice of 700. Are we going to record in our cash book? Uh, yeah. Are we going to record? Yes? Are we going to record in our cash book? Oh, yes. 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 Okay, so what is your number entry? Debbie? What do you think? Uh, bank. Uh, trade. Bank. Trade. Uh, yeah. uh. Trade. Which one? Trade payable. Trade payable. 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 Yes, trade payable. Samuel, because we pay, ma, right? We pay meaning previously we buy from him, la. isn't it? Okay, credit. What do we credit? Seven hundred. Oh wait. Uh, credit. Seven hundred minus thirty-five. Uh huh. But credit what account? Oh. Uh, uh. Credit. Invoice. Invoice count as bank, right? The question. Oh, check, is check, oh, check, oh, check, oh, check. There's a bank. Send you a check. Uh, uh. So this is bank, all. Okay. So 
it say there's a discount, right? So 700 minus 35, right? Okay, so here we have 6, 7, uh, 6, 6, 6, 5. Right, 6, 6, 5? Credit? Uh, credit, credit bank. Credit bank. Discount? discount. Credit bank and discount? Discount received. Yeah, discount received. So this will be 35, right? Okay. Now, so since we make payment, so it's on the credit side. So here we put, so we are paying to track payable Samuel, right? Okay, and we have a discount of 35 and if we only pay 665, yeah, by check. So me, when you, when you issue the check, you only issue 665 instead of 700. Okay, last one. The last one. Receive a check from Kenneth 475 after deducting 25 cash discount. We receive a check. Okay, so what is your double entry? Come on. We receive a check. What is your double entry? Debit? Debit bank. Okay, debit bank. How much? 475. 475. Okay. Some more? What do we... Debit or credit? Debit. Discount, uh, discount allowed. A lot. 25. Okay, then what do we credit? Trade receivable. Yep, trade receivable. Kenneth, right? Okay, save Kenneth. This is 500. Okay, so since we receive, yeah, we receive a check. So here is suppose this should be on the debit side. So we receive from track receivable Kenneth. Alright, and we have a discount of uh, 25 and we receive a check of 475. Okay, correct? Right? Okay, so finally our cash book is done. Okay, now we want to calculate the balance as what the question say. Yeah, as what the question say, you will have to calculate the balance. Now, um, okay, so we need to see. Cash column, bank column, cash column, bank column. So meaning, you you look at cash to cash, huh? right? Okay. And uh, now, uh, I want to put, yeah, I want to know. So normally, we will have a balance, right? Okay. So if I put a balance CD, so meaning this one is, okay. Uh, balance CD means the, this is how much we receive, isn't it? How much we receive? We minus how much we actually pay. So what is the balance left? Yeah, what is actually the balance left? So here our balance is okay. Let's say I put here, right? I add up. Okay, so I'll copy to here. Okay, uh, I already set the formula, so I just copy to here. <laughs> nope, it doesn't work. Okay, that is. Uh, some okay yeah right so this is how it looks like okay so um uh, yeah all right so my total I, uh, it's not, okay now my total is eight eight zero so now I want to know how much have I used up for cash right so what you do is you can put like this so you use your own way lah. So I use this way. Okay, now you see, I only use 591, but I receive 881. So meaning I have a balance, right? Okay, I have a balance, correct? Yeah, I have a balance. So basically it's like this, because your debit must equal to credit. So if I draw this one, then you can see very clearly, correct? So meaning debit size is 880. Here must be 880 also, right? So meaning I have a balance now, see, balance CD. Balance CD means this balance I'm going to carry it down, carry it down to next month. Yeah, I'm going to carry it down to next month, right? I'm going to carry it down to next month. So that's why. So how much is this? So how do I get this number? So it's the difference between 880 minus 591, right? Okay. So yeah. Okay. So in exam, that's how you can do that. So it's 289. See, I put 289, it's balanced really, yeah? So, these two numbers must be the same. Okay, uh, don't use the same color. Use... 
Okay, I add zero, right? Okay, now for bank column, it's the same thing. Okay, for bank column, it's the same thing. So I just, uh, but so I don't want green. Later, I use another color. Right now, now for bank, you see, three, four, four, five. I have three, four, four, five. Okay, on the debit means the money that I have. On the credit means the money that I already paid out. So meaning, I have three, four, five, but I, I, I already used one, four, nine, five. So meaning, I also have balance, right? Okay, I also have balance. So my balance. So you take three, four, five minus how much you have used. So meaning here I have one nine five zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the answer that you want. Okay, you need to you want to find this answer. And you see that the cash on the debit side must equal to the cash on the credit side. Yeah, all right. So that's how you get your balance. So if people ask you, so in the month of May, how much left are cash? Oh, 289. How about in your bank account? How much left? Oh, 1950. Understand? Okay, and for this one, the discount. So for this one, the discount, you're going to transfer to the discount account. Yeah, so meaning we have a discount allowed of 55 and we have a discount receipt of 45. All right, okay, so yeah, so. Finally, we finish. But uh, actually, huh? Actually, you see, I actually show you journal entry. But if you look at my answer, okay, my answer is actually, uh, okay, this one, huh? Correct, huh? Two and one nine. So our answer is correct, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll I'll need to show you this one. Now you see, my answer is actually all in lecture. Ah, uh, my answer is actually all in lecture. Uh, yeah. Is there a correct so, way? Ah, uh, okay. Way. Now. This one is actually depends on the question. If a question says lecture, then you're going to do in lecture. Our question actually say lecture. Yeah, so it actually, it actually we should do lecture. But the thing is, if I do lecture, it will take a longer time. So that's why I show you journal. Actually, journal and lecture, the concept is the same. Just that journal will be faster. You know, I ask you like this. But actually, it's, it's, it's actually the concept is the same. So if you, you can actually try to do, uh, you know, you can actually try to do lecture. Okay, now I come back to here. I want to show you this one. So this is carried forward, right? So balance CD, okay. Balance CD is always the last day, the last day of the month. And balance BD is always the first day of the month. So when we come to here, so this one is June already. Um, my June first. On June 1st, I have a balance BD brought down. Brought down from where? Brought down from the month of May. Okay, brought down from the month of May. Cash, I have 289. And then I have 1950. Yeah. So this part is actually very important. So I should actually I should actually put yeah, like this. I know how come it's not sensitive? It's like I did not click. So I should this, then I should put doing him okay, this now. Okay, so always remember, huh? Balance CD is always on the last day, and BD is always on the first day. This is uh something that you must remember for accounting, part of the basic. Yeah, last day is always balance CD. First day is always balance BD. See, carry it down, carry it down to June. And in 1st June, brought down from 31st May. Yeah, so these two numbers. Can you see that? So I'll put in red, all right? Okay, Ken? Yes? Okay. Carry it down and brought down, remember, yeah? Okay, now, not finished yet. Like, actually, actually, I want to show you the lecture, but it's too long. Okay, never mind. I show you this kind of line, this kind of receiver. Now, for this kind of line, this kind of receipt, okay, uh, I only, in fact, this one, I show you, uh, actually, I only need, yeah, actually, there are a lot of accounts that I want to show you, but then we don't have enough time. So, okay, I show you three, actually, we use six. For this one, we need six columns is enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because of the. Okay. 
I show you discount a lot this one. See. Now, if you can do discount a lot this way, then you can do uh, capital, uh, drawings, uh, purchases, uh, you know, uh, yeah, bank, bank and cash, no need. Uh, bank and cash is already up here. Uh. So what you need to do is like capital, uh, purchases, rats, uh, sales, okay, transport, uh, all this. Uh. Okay, so for like this one, this one you do, okay. I'll show you discount a lot first, yeah. Okay, so for discount a lot account, Right, short form for this kind of lot account. This kind of lot account, as you know, uh, it's always what on the uh, it's always on the debit, isn't it? And we transfer at the end of the month, so here must be 31st, right? Okay, how much is the total for your discount a lot? This kind of lot is definitely on the debit side, uh, so you see the number is 55, isn't it? So and discount a lot account is normally from track receivable, isn't it? From where? Who give us discount a lot? It's actually from our customer. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, we give discount a lot to our customer. So it's uh, from our customer account. So it's uh, trade receivable. So the number is 55. Right? The number is, the amount is actually 55. All right? Now, where else for discount receive? Okay, for discount receive, actually we give it to our, no, we receive from our supplier, not we give. It's not a lot we give to our customers, but this can receive we receive from our supplier. Okay, so for this can receive is definitely on the credit side, and it's always on the last day because you see we top it up after one month, so this will be check payable and the after total is forty five. Right? Okay. So if I put a if I put a um you know an arrow, yeah. So in my class, I always like to use arrow to point here and there. So this is come to here, yeah, right, okay. Um, so put this color and the other one, okay, this one will come to here, yeah, all right, okay, yeah. So if you know how to do this one, then you can actually try on, uh, yeah, you can actually try on a color like stationary transport, is it correct? So you see. You see, right? Now, if you say, if you say capital, you put capital is credit, right? So when you do your T account, when you prepare, you put here capital, right? Then the number is on the credit side. You get what I mean? Yeah. So if you put purchases on the debit, then when you when you prepare a, a, a debit, okay, uh, I think, okay, um, this one, right? I think I use, okay, I use, uh, I quickly scribble by using, uh, I think of six minutes, uh, Okay, now I quickly scribble. I show you the first few. All right, I show you the first few. Okay, uh, let me open up pen tablet. Okay. So I just scribble, huh? So it wouldn't look uh, very neat, nah. See, I can't even draw a, a straight line. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, can't draw a straight line. This. Okay. I actually very difficult to draw a straight line, now. So okay, like this one. Now, capital, okay, I show you a capital. So you see capital here, you put credit, right? Okay, uh, 1,008. Then this 1,000, you have cash and bank. So you put uh, cash, 800. Bank, 1,000. Correct? Okay, now remember we have another capital, right? Okay, we have another capital. I remember we have uh, here, this one, right? Another additional capital just now. So this one is also by bank, right? Okay, so you put uh, this bank. Okay. okay, now now you see the way I do this one is it's not complete. I should have put the I should have put the date. Uh, I should have put the date. So meaning if I want to if I want to show if you if you do a very 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 complete one, right? Okay. Uh right, yeah, I think better use okay. if you want to do a very very nice one. Okay, if you want to do a very very nice one. So what you need to do is actually um I copy from okay. I copy from this one. So what you do is you 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 make a you make a template. You make a template. Okay, like this. So here you put capital account. So what I do is I just change this one to capital account, right? Okay. So I put like May. Okay. So 
According to the question, it's not from May first, right? So May first, we have cash. Remember just now, our right, our cash is eight hundred nine. Okay, and then we have uh, also on the May first, we have bank, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one thousand. And then later on, we I remember we have another one which is on the fifteen. Yeah, on the fifteen. So here you put bank. Okay, one thousand. Yeah. So this is actually what you should, you need to do. Right? Yeah, so since uh, you see like now I already show you all this, right? So basically, you know, if I want to do the T account, it's actually very fast now. Yeah, I just refer, you know, I just refer to here. Or you refer to the cash book also can. So I show you capital account already, right, just now. So I can show you another one. Let's say uh, I do purchases account. So I copy this one. Come to here. Right, okay, just to show you, right. Uh, I uh, did not copy. Uh, I'm not sensitive. Okay, I think uh, this computer is a bit uh, old. Uh, so, uh, so this one is a bit slow. Okay, so so I cannot work too fast. If I work too fast, right, then it cannot cope. <laughs> because I'm used to using my home computer. My home uh, uh, desktop is actually very fast. So that's why I'm used to that. Okay, um, so this one, okay, is May 2nd, right? Okay, then we have bank, because this is, a, uh, uh, we purchase by using check, right? That is bank. Then here we put um, 400. Yeah, so this is your purchases account. So do we have any more purchases? Do we have Arnett? Here we have Arnett. Debit purchases, but this one is cash. Okay, so what you do is, you put here cash, okay? Yeah, then this 28. So, uh, which day is that? 28, so this is on the 24. Right? Okay. So basically, if you want to do this, this T account, it's actually very simple. Uh. You come to here. You So meaning from here, you know that you need to open a capital account. You need to open a sales account. You see, repeat one, same account. You don't have to open two capital. One capital is enough. Just like how I show you here. I have one capital, right? Isn't it correct? Yeah. Okay. So you come to here. You see, you you have you need to prepare a, a lecture for capital, a lecture for sales, a lecture for trade receivable thought. Right. Okay. This one no need. Eh? This one no need. Cash is here already. No need. Then we prepare a, a lecture for trade receivable. Kenneth. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then when you come to the credit side, you prepare a purchases account. You prepare a rex account. You prepare a transport stationery drawings. Okay, purchase again, no need to do two times. Then you prepare a track payable. Okay, transport again, no need two times. Track receivable, thought. Uh, thought, just one we already have on the debit side. So the same one, so you just put on the, you know, yeah, okay. And office furniture, one. Okay, track payables and, yeah. So that's, that's what you actually, you know, uh, yeah, that's what you actually need to do. Yeah. And of course, you need to include the track, the, the discount spell. When, like, for example, like this one, like this one, right, there's a track, uh, uh, there's a discount allowed. Uh, so you've got to include the track, uh, the discount allowed in the lecture. Yeah. So would you like to try? And after you finish, you can submit. Yeah. Okay. When you submit, right, you let me know. Uh, which, uh, you know, like when you submit your answer, maybe, you know, up on top of here, before you start your answer, you, you can put, okay, tutorial one, question three, right? Tutorial two, question four, like that. So that I'm able to, you know, check. In fact, I have all, I have a very complete answer. So if I want to mark for you, it's actually very fast. Yeah, I have a complete answer. So what I mark is, I use my pen tablet, like, just tick, 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 it's actually very fast. Yeah, just that I need to remember to bring home. <laughs> Yeah, last night, you know, yesterday I forgot to bring home because I was thinking today I, I have class. So, okay, so you can try. Okay, now, so uh, we don't have time really, yeah? Okay, so you can try, right? So pause, okay, to the appropriate lecture. So what I finished is part A. So part B, part B, actually I show you journal, but can you please do lecture? Okay, and then, and then you go to, uh, uh, this is your own practice, question one and question two. It's the same as our question for uh, it's actually the same so you can actually practice but the uh, question two is slightly longer so 
yeah so if you uh, if you have the time so maybe you try to do a longer question like maybe you do you know this one is a more is a much longer question yeah so you can practice and then you can hand in uh, hand in your answer so that i mark for you yeah remember practice make perfect for accounting it's just like maths practice make perfect okay any question and so far no so just far, question no. one and question uh, two right uh question four we not finished isn't it it's called question four you can actually prepare the lecture i already show you question four is this one i already show you the cash book correct now if you want to snap you can you quickly snap this answer then with this answer then it's very fast for you to do the lecture yeah very fast for you to do your okay. lecture okay yeah okay. so actually for accounting right a lot of homework right? yeah actually a lot of homework and i would say every time after after one lecture please go to your tutorial and look at the question and see how much you can understand okay certain part maybe you don't remember the format please refer to your lecture i believe lecture not will give you the format and then try to do it. yeah so that in the tutorial class you will actually uh, you know, uh, solve your solve your doubts. That's how you learn. Yeah, remember our target is hundred percent pass. Yeah, must pass. Yeah, must pass because for well, my concern is because this kind of thing is very technical. So if you don't pass this semester, when you reset, right? You, I, I can, I can tell you when you reset, maybe you only remember twenty to thirty percent, which you, you is a bit difficult for you to pass your B. So you might as well, you might as well do, you know, do one time this semester, you know, just pass and then you don't have to look at it anymore. Yeah, I know you're an IT student. I was quite surprised IT student has an elective called accounting paper. And uh, this paper is for degree student, but it's actually, yeah, it's for all the first year degree student. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, a, it's kind of like a, a compulsory paper for all the degree student. Okay. So if no more question, then I'll leave it to you to you know sit down and do your work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very Thanks. much. So you just you just hand in your answer in the WhatsApp. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. See you. Uh, see you on Thursday. Okay, Miss. Thank you.